What's up guys? This will basically be a remake of Jaden McNeil's first ever video from 12 years ago titled A Nice Set of Cross Plus First Pair Setups. And this video will showcase the same setups but with slightly more optimized solutions as although the video by Jaden McNeil is 12 years ago and ahead of its time, there are better solutions for a couple of them. And also I'd like to go more in depth to the other ones as well as well as show a few alternatives, so this will be very interesting. And to a sub-9 solver, most of these are very intuitive. However, even to a sub-9 solver, the first one is just so unused, and it's actually so useful. So, this will be great. First case, R, U2, R, because you have this pair right here, right? These cross edges are solved and you have one last cross edge to go, instead of just doing that, you can do R U to R, which actually pairs this pair up. And then you can insert like that if you wanted to insert into the front right. Not Maybe not the best solution uh, to insert into the front right if you're on your first pair, but it really does depend. So you can either do this into the front right or just insert into the back like that. And that's the first case. Nothing much to say about that one. It's just so useful. And please, please keep in mind that all of these solutions, they work for any slot. So if you were from here, F U2F would pair it up. If you were from here, just do L U2L and then insert. From here, I guess you could be, you can be doing that if you're at the right angle or if you have finger tricks that convene to that, like if your rest of the cross fits well with that. But yeah, these work for all angles, all slots, mirrors, inversions, blah, blah, blah. They all work. So for the second case, what you got to do, this one's intuitive and nothing much to say here. It's just simple. You'll probably be doing it anyway. It's just R2. But R2 from here, like this, allows for a better uh, insert because you can just do that. If you... Because here's the thing, if you do R2 like that, you'll have to do a U2 prime, and then you'll have to reload your left index because you see that, you have to reload. But if you simply do R2 like this, and then U2, and then insert the pair, that works better. Please keep in mind that that does have to flow with the rest of your cross solution, as this is not what a normal scramble looks like. You probably had to solve these edges beforehand, and you have this case to work with. Now for this setup, uh, the case is very interesting because there's like four ways to solve it that are equally good. And the one that Jaden chose is actually the least intuitive, but it's still intuitive. And the, what, the one that he chose, which is actually not that bad, it's R, U, R2, U, R prime to pair it up. And then you insert the pair, obviously. But here's the interesting thing. Even if you just do an R2 and then solve the pair normally using one of the three methods, First way, R prime U R to pair it up, or second way, R prime U prime R to pair it up, or third way, from here, R prime U two R to pair it up. And if you just calculate all of these solutions, they end up being the exact same move count, so there's literally no benefit to any of them. Like, they're all exactly the same. And this is where your cross plus two planning skills come into play, because you do want to be looking at your second pair and seeing which one of these four solutions allows for the best second pair. And uh, basically, that's advanced inspection in a nutshell. You have to focus on every single scenario and decide which one is the best. So that's, that's it for this one. For the next pair up, this one, Jaden actually shows R, U, R2, U prime, R prime. And while this may have been good in 2012, in wait, 12 years ago, what even is that? Yeah, 2012. Uh, or 2011, depending on what time of the year it was. For this case, while this may have good, been good in the past, nowadays, like, just do an R2 and then insert the pair with L, U, L, prime, R, prime, U, prime, R. Because finger tricks allow for just doing that flawlessly. Like, you can also rotate this way and just do that. And there's really no benefit in doing extra moves just to get it to be all R, U, right? So that's what I do recommend. Also, if for whatever reason you want to be solving your first pair to the front right slot, there's a really nice way to do it. R2 fat f r f prime r prime s and this solution 
is actually endorsed by Jada McNeil himself because it's an inverse of a solution that he does use. So R2, fat F, R, F prime, R prime, S prime. And it's actually uh, surprisingly good. Okay, let me set it up again. So you do that, and then you do that. And uh, let's see if I can do it together on this GAN12. Once again, that's pretty niche. You don't really have to do that. You could just do an R2 and then rotate. Now for this one, R, U, R, U, R, U, R prime is pretty much intuitive since we all know to solve this pair from this angle, the regular R, U solution would be to do that. And nowadays it's kind of been uh, overdone by solutions like these ones. Fat F, R, Fat F prime, R, U, R prime is simply just a faster way to do it. Uh, but since it's like you're already here, just do R, U, R, and then you got a free pair. For the last case, this one is my favorite because <laughs> the one that Jaden chose is this. And then, well, that's not, that's not great because although it may have been great back then, you can just do R2, U prime, S, R, S prime. And he would never have done that back in 2012, but nowadays it's the way to go. And I did learn S, R, S prime uh, type stuff from Jaden himself. So yeah. R2, U prime, S, R, S prime. And it's just so good. Like, wow. On modern cubes, it's a blessing. And it's really ironic that Yu Sheng Du designed this cube and he hated S moves. But, like, it's Yu Sheng Du. So. <laughs> yeah, this is the list of six setups from Jada McNeil's first video that I found really interesting. But I felt like I could elaborate it a bit more. Please go check out his channel, go subscribe. I mean, in the past, there was this one time when he told you to subscribe to me. It's time for me to tell you to subscribe to him because man, Jaden is such an underrated cuber. And man, am I such an overrated cuber? Like, come on, what did I do? Right? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next time. If you do have any, if you do have any more suggestions about Cross Plus One, please let me know.